Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And this time I've been looking at this canvas and I'm thinking, what can I paint on it? I did previously paint on this canvas and I gotta be honest, I made a right hash of it. <laughs> it was a complete disaster. And that happens. And if that happens to you, move on to the next one. Don't worry about it. I won't be losing any sleep over the lot. Bad, bad, bad painting that I did. <laughs> In fact, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. So, I want to do a seascape. I'm, I'm thinking, what I'm thinking about is like having a cloud that goes boof, there, it goes in like that. In fact, let's do a bit of a sketch. I had a brush in my hand. <laughs> Put it somewhere. It was the perfect brush to use. <laughs> I don't know. I'll go with this one. So let's think about this. So I'll just use a little bit of blue. I'll show you what I've got on my palette. So I've got leftover paint <laughs> and then I added a bit more white because I think I'm going to need a bit of white and I probably need a bit of yellow to warm it up. Uh, it's got some alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, burnt umber, sap green, not sure about the sap green, might use it, might not, cad yellow, titanium white, I'll put the fresh there because Got a bit of mix there, and you know, not sure about that either. This is a purely experimental thing, and uh, experimenting is a good idea because it's fun. <laughs> so let's imagine we've got a uh, a cloud that goes like that sort of shape. Imagine there's that. Imagine there's a great big ass <laughs> rock that goes there. And I've been to a beach where there has been a great big rock there. So I was thinking about it. <laughs> and then maybe the water's splashing up at this area. With that rock. And then maybe it's falling over there as well. Yeah, maybe it's coming like that. Like that. And maybe there's more cloud going like that. And then uh, what I'm thinking, if this bit was dark, because of that rock blocking the sun. The sun's coming this way and it hits this area here and then it will hit the light, light up this water as well. But then this is quite dark. Maybe there's a gap here of light as well. So we're just imagining it. <laughs> it's all made up, but let's have a look. Let's just go for it. Let's not let's not hang about. We've got our idea. We can think about it in our head, but there's nothing better than just painting it. And like the last one, <laughs> if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But if it does work, then you've created a uh, a place, and a made up place. It's just white and ultramarine blue, that's all that is. Let's have a look at that. So 
So I'm sat a arm. Uh, I can touch the canvas with my fingertips. So I'm sat quite far back. <laughs> I've got oil paint all over my hand because uh, when I was making paints, some things I didn't realise. <laughs> And that was that some paints become rock hard in the tube. <laughs> <laughs> and Mars Violet was one of them. So when I make myself some Mars Violet again, I'll put a bit of uh, more clove oil in it. So I don't have that issue. Now... Let's think about this. If there's a white wave there, it's not going to stand out next to a light blue. So, what if this dark cloud comes along here as well? And then the light goes ping and it will brighten that up. So, we'll think about that as well. And I might. Um, Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good idea. In fact, I think it's a great idea. Let's put the blue in. A bit more blue when we want more blue, mainly at the top parts. I'm not worried about um, blending the sky perfect. I quite like it um, looking a bit more rough anyway. It's amazing, the more paintings you do, you change. I wonder if you evolve. I wonder if your mind evolves. <laughs> Obviously you learn. Makes me wonder. You're learning. Does your taste evolve? Because you start doing things that other painters don't do. And I think that could only be from experience. I'm not sure. I was saying to someone the other day. They saw someone I work with saw my YouTube channel and they was like, what? I didn't realise you could paint like that. Because I don't really talk about painting that much at work because non-painters, well, they're not really interested. <laughs> it's not really a great gossiping subject, is it? Oh, I did a painting last night. Oh, what did you do? Oh, I'm going to tell everyone about this. <laughs> it's not going to get on the rumour mill. Jason did a painting. Oh my God. See, when you work with a lot of people, they're interested in rumours <laughs> that can spread. <laughs> so, let's think about this cloud now. I'm thinking blue, crimson, make it sort of a dark greyish colour. Okay. I think it's a good play. I think it's a good play having this dark cloud there. Anyway, let's have a look at this. Painting away. I'm disappearing on my screen. Never mind. I'll sit back and have a look in a minute. <laughs> painting. Painting. Just getting this one. to go and oh. it's 
这么暖的。Right, yeah, quite like that. Bit more on this side. Think about the shape that you want. Because that basic shape, well, that is what it is. <laughs> A basic shape, and you can change it. Change it the way you want it to be. I'm sort of... Uh, don't want this guy to be too perfect. I quite like that. I like the way it's creating an X. <laughs> X marks the spot. Now I'm getting a bit more blue and red. Blue and red. Blue and red. Making it dark mixture. That'll do. I want it to be, yeah that's a nice grey, that is a nice grey. I want it to be a nice grey. <laughs> so let's uh, put this cloud here. Mm, a bit more blue in it I think. Now what I'm going to do, as it comes towards the horizon, I am going to lighten it a bit with blue, you see that? Right, I just chuck that in. I don't want too much paint around the wave either. So what I might do is just whip that bit off. Wipe my brush on a paper towel. Flip. And then scrub this that's on. Okay. Something like that. And then something like that. Oh, I quite like that. I do like that. Being creative. Not down to maybe, maybe there. Something like that. Sometimes you get a different coloured cloud, and that cloud goes a bit to the uh, blue side there. So it's interesting, I was looking at the sky actually, as always, <laughs> and the different colours, it was really interesting. Like these blues in the, in the clouds. Using greys and browns. Okay. Let's put that in. Now what I think I'll do is get my dark in. So use another brush. Use this brush. So, crimson, uh, burnt umber, blue, 
I want to make a real dark here. Because the idea is <laughs> the light's going to be there. It's going to come like that. Shing! And light this up and light an area up. We'll see. <laughs> see if we can do something. Darken this. So when you're doing your painting, don't feel like you have to do it the same. Make it different if you want. I just don't want you to feel like you have to do it exactly the same. Because when you're being creative, you want the freedom of being creative. You don't want to feel like, oh, well I'm just copying. And you don't get the same feeling. You can do lessons, lessons. I'm not sure if this is a lesson or not really. It's, um, that's why I always say me painting. <laughs> I mean, it is, it is a kind of a lesson. It's a demonstration. So there's two ways to go about improving your painting. The first way is by copying by uh, watching someone paint and thinking right I'm gonna I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna do what they've done and see if it works and then uh, and then you uh, you learn from your experience of copying then and then the other way is that you do your own thing and that way you learn more about yourself and you're using your creativity muscle. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think anyway. So I quite like the way that rock's looking. I might put some on the beach, I'm not sure yet. We'll think about that afterwards. So, next step. Get another brush. I think that's clean. <laughs> next step. I'm gonna get, there we go. I'm gonna get a little bit of yellow. A little bit of white. Let's put it up here. I might get a little bit of crimson as well. Yeah, I quite like that. So nice warm to the peach. And I want, I want some of this cloud to have a light, lightness to it. And I'm just gonna do these little flicks of light here and there on the cloud, wherever I think they should be. And what you should do, <laughs> well, you don't have to, <laughs> just uh, what I've done, is uh, sit outside with your sketchbook, look up and sketch what you see. And then uh, give you ideas on clouds or another way, take pictures. Take pictures and, and then put them on the computer or print them out and have a go. Experiment. And then you start doing your own clouds, making them up. You'll notice how some clouds they have full 
white areas and some areas it just goes dark. <laughs> it's really weird. Makes me realise how small we are <laughs> as we're looking up. I don't want to go too overboard with that light actually. I quite like the way it looks at the moment. I'm going to put a bit here, of course. A bit there. I'm just let that sort of blend into it. Maybe I'll do something like that. And you get like these little stringy ones and yeah, all sorts in the sky, all sorts. I think I'll probably just go up there. Probably go with that. Yeah. I think I'll just stick with that. I quite like that. So the next point <laughs> is the water. So we want like we said, this is our lightest bit, so I'm gonna uh, gonna go with some ultramarine blue, a little bit of crimson. Might throw a bit of sap green in as well. And make our C color that color. <laughs> so I'm gonna scrub in this. Funny because you notice that um, crimson is quite a transparent colour. So when you spread it out like this, it's very transparent. Sort of a an hour in about the uh, the area down here because uh, I've got to make this quite dark. A beach. I'm thinking about it going like that. And then maybe I can have a bit of light sand. Maybe something like that.
<laughs> scrubbing away. <laughs> you can do this with a bigger brush. But take your time. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to rush. I need to take my time, really. got rid of the white haven't we? Might as well carry on this uh, white removal. <laughs> I'll get some uh, bit of burnt umber and yellow. I'm going to scrub it down here. Since I decided I was going to have a beach this in. Scrub it in. Scrub it in. That's a little bit of cad yellow. Remember. In fact, a bit of that colour. Cad yellow and burnt umber. I can do this as well. Just putting it in here and there. And then uh, it'll look like you can see down into the water afterwards. Let's um, put a little bit of light. Just going to go into the white, and I want to lighten up a bit here. Just, you know, lighten up a bit. <laughs> Be happier. <laughs> Sort of uh, blends away as you get to the top. Right, let's start. Let us. What brush shall I use? I might use a filbert again. I'm quite liking this filbert brush. It's the uh, one of the Bob Ross filbert brushes. I do like him. Right, so. Now we've got ourselves our clouds in, we've got our base colours in, we've got darkness there, we've got the lightest light. <laughs> the lightest light. So we're going to go into some white. And a uh, tiny bit of yellow. Tiny bit of yellow and a tiny bit of red. Here we go. Welcome to the sunlight. <laughs> That's our sunlight, okay? Loads of paint. Look at all that paint. I'm an animal with the paint. An animal! <laughs> it's gonna cost me a fortune. This will be the last episode because I've used all the paint up. Right, so. This is so splashing up. 
there. Splashing up. Use a few brush strokes, they splash in and going crazy there. See how light it is though. Because of uh, everything else is quite dark, let's manage to say, and, not, not, and this is all as well. <laughs> this is all gone over and uh, do the noises because it just helps you a little bit. <laughs> So we can keep this area lighter and uh, using strokes like this to keep it moving, keep the water moving. And we've, we can uh, Because the uh, background, and we, maybe we can. And it's still got a light. Get some of that sunlight, sunlight colour. We can pick up a few of these. Maybe there's another one, sort of coming in here. It's building up. Maybe it's started to turn over already. Give it some movement. Just sort of sitting back having a look. I'll just sit back, have a look at that. Yeah, I quite like that. I think there'd be some shadow in that wave, I mean splash, because it's all lit from that side so the light would probably light it up this end and then it would sort of go into shadow a bit so I'm going to make a uh, blue a crimson This will be our shadow colour. So what I think this might be a bit of shadow there. And as it kind of sort of sitting back and looking at that. Maybe some of the light gets. Keep it moving. Yeah, I think it would be in layers. Wiping my brush, get some more of the light, the sunlight. Oops, not enough sunlight in that.
this might be turning over as well. I don't know what I want to do. So I'll bring a bit of rock into it. Something like that, a lot of movement. <laughs> I think I'll stick with that. I like the movement. And then uh, just pull a little bit of that back there. Dark isn't really dark enough. There we go. Something like that. <laughs> something like that. There's something not right. I haven't worked it out yet. But um, we'll carry on anyway. So I've got the light hitting and then it's going to be a bit there. some frothy sort of areas. Then when it gets into this shade, I'm going to go into a bit more of the blue rather than the white. Okay, and then I wanted the light to come back about here, so we'll have a more light and it'll sort of come back there. And uh, lighten up the beach a bit. Yeah, that could be good. I quite like that idea of where the light goes along there as well. So the light's maybe coming this way.
Okay. <laughs> That'll do for that, I think. I'll keep this very shadowy. So I'll use um, blue again. Using blue to do the same same uh, thing. Maybe there's a bit of a splash in there. coming onto the beach Thinking about when I was out there painting, I did this big splash like this, and I was at Scarborough, and uh, I remember it being a lot darker when I think about it at the the bit when it hit the rock. Here's a smaller brush. What I'm going to do is get some bit of blue and just think, I just remember when I was painting. There wasn't much light reaching that area. Yeah, it's more like that. So that's the beauty of getting out there and and then thinking about it. You start, um, of course, when you go out painting in nature, you're really, you're seeing it, you're seeing it uh, happening, and you can't beat it, really. Yeah, that's more like what I saw. And then there was a lot of spray, so there's another thing that we need. I might just tap. I'll tap this brush. Let's see if we can uh, generate a bit of spray. Like that. What I might do as well, using this, um, using one of these brushes, could just get some blue on it, and uh, gonna create myself sort of reflected light on some of these rocks. Uh, Hmm. 
Something like this. So the areas at the top of the rock is catching a bit of light. Maybe there's a piece that comes out like that. And it goes down. Just sit back and have a look at that. Keeping it quite dark though. The other thing I might do is add a bit more light on the beach. A bit more light on this beach I think. Just to make this a bit more <laughs> obvious that that's in dark, this is in light. And uh, also, this is another good thing to do. With a little brush, you can do these little Glimmers of light. Okay. I think I'm finished. <laughs> I could go on forever and ever. I think you know what I'm like. Just want to get a little bit of this on there. The sunlight. Okay, so I think we're done. What else could I do? <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying myself. Don't want to stop. Maybe I can put a couple of rocks in. Oh, yeah, there's probably a few stones in there. We can do that. I think we'll call this one finished. This will be a 10 hour episode. <laughs> so we'll call this one finished. So thanks very much for watching this one and uh, Seagull? Seagull? Do you think? Seagull? It'd be nice to have a seagull, wouldn't it? So where does our eye go? Keep him faint. Something like that. Yeah, we'll keep that faint. <laughs> so, thanks very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gets you inspired and raring to go and to do another one. And uh, it certainly has me. 
I can't put this brush down you see I get I enjoy myself and then I start thinking oh I could do this I could do this oh what else could I do mm. <laughs> before you know it I've done detail and detail and detail and could be uh, watching me paint for hours on end but I think we best call this one finished so thanks very much for watching this episode and I'll see you at another one cheers bye